It has been almost three months since my sister arrived in the United States for a visit. She hasn't explored many places yet, so I'm taking her to the Field Museum. The ticket to enter the museum costs around $26 per person, not included other special exhibition and activities. Although, there are days when it's free for Illinois residents like me. Field Museum is a natural history museum. It has extensive scientific specimen and artifact collections. My sister is most excited about seeing a real mummy inside the building. Although, we want to explore the first floor of the museum first. It has been a couple of years since I visited the museum, so some of the exhibition are the ones that I have never seen before. Either that, or I completely forgot what it looks like. As you can see, this section of the museum is all about the wilderness. We can wander through the beautiful and bizarre world of animals. According to the Field Museum website, in this section, it shows how some species continue to amaze us with creative behaviors that evolve over several million years. By exploring how animals move, eat, survive, and reproduce, we will get a glimpse of the interconnected web of animal life. Next, we're going to Africa Exhibition. There are 54 countries in Africa, home to more than a billion residents who communicate in as many as 2,000 unique languages. The Field Museum's Africa Exhibition offers a glimpse into the varied cultures and environments across the vast continent. We get to experience the sight and sound of life of the African continent from a bustling city in Senegal to the rainforest of Rwanda, from a camel caravan deep in the Sahara to an industrial workshop in Ethiopia. Collection artifacts, cultural display, and scientific findings come together to shed light on Africa throughout history. Now we gotta take a lunch break. Continuing the tour, we're going to the Ancient Americas exhibition, and its related educational programs were co-curated with indigenous and Latino advisors from throughout the Americas. These dedicated individuals provided mentorship and guidance throughout the course of this project.
Next, we are going to explore Halls of the Pacific. Here we can explore the history and culture of some of Pacific Islands through hundreds of contemporary and historical objects on display, including masks, wood carvings, and instruments. Now we're going to the second floor of the museum. We are starting from Evolving Planet Exhibit. We will get to know the many creatures that have roamed the Earth throughout history, from single-celled organism to our extended human family. Experience a variety of fossils, animated videos, and interactive displays that tell the story of evolution and the process that connects all living things on Earth. In the middle of the exhibit, we get to see Sue the T-Rex. Sue is one of the largest, most extensive, and best preserved Tyrannosaurus rex specimens ever found. The fossil was named after Sue Hendrickson, the person who discovered Sue. After exploring the second floor, we were looking for the mummy exhibition. Turns out, it was on the ground floor. It also was not called the mummy exhibition, it's called Inside Ancient Egypt. The exhibition has burial chamber, which dates to 2400 BC, houses one of the largest collection of mummies in the United States. 23 human mummies and more than 30 animal mummies. I hope it is not disrespectful to film the mummies and put them on my YouTube channel. After all, these mummies used to be living humans and creatures just like me. Other than the mummies, there are a complete step-to-step -step diorama of how these mummies were created. Step 1. Embalm the body.
Step 2. Body and its organs are dried in mounds of natron mix of baking soda and other salts for 40 days. Step 3. Bandaging the mummy, which apparently the most difficult part of the job. I imagine it must be difficult to cover up every single inch of the body with bandage. Step 4. is the final step and the mummy is ready to be put in a tomb. The whole process took around 2 months. Overall, visiting the Field Museum is definitely one of the most recommended things to do when you are in Chicago. It's very educational and fascinating just to go through history of every living creatures on Earth. Well, perhaps not all of them. It was my sister's first time seeing a real T-Rex fossil and a mummy in one day. By the way, I got all the information from the Field Museum website and Wikipedia. If you like this video, please subscribe, click the like button, and let me know in the comments what would you like to see next.